Hello, Alina from Exclamate Mastery here. Today I'd like to talk about how to find new line items. So sometimes I can't find a line item in Xactimate. I have to go Google different names for it and then try to find it by picture and then go back into Xactimate and go, ah, there's that line item. So I'm gonna go over a few ways to search and different ways that you can see what's contained in a category so that you can see where that line item is found, and then also what a accompanying or accoutrement go with that line item here in Xactimate because sometimes uh, you may leave off something that you could be asking for. So there's a certain search that you can do to help see what's related to that line item. So we're gonna talk about that today as well here in Xactimate. Most people, when they start using Xactimate, or even me, if I'm looking for something that I haven't searched for before, you go right to the search by keyword here. So you can pull up something like sighting, and it'll pull up a lot of broad things trying to figure out what exactly are you looking for. So one of my top tips for searching by keywords is if you can get as specific as you can. So let's say I'm looking for some cedar sighting, and maybe I want it to be shiplap. I could get even that specific. So what I usually try to do is use the mo more specific language, most specific language that I can, and not just put in citing because that will bring up a whole lot of options instead of getting uh, to drill down what kind of shiplap citing you want here. So what I can do also, search by, search by keyword is great as long as you know the keyword and what Xactimate's calling that line item. Sometimes I don't know what I'm looking for in Xactimate. Like when I started using Xactimate, I thought drywall was called sheetrock. No, that's a brand of drywall, but in New Mexico, we just called it, I'm gonna sheetrock that house, right? So you're never gonna find sheetrock in here. So what I can do is just search for the type. I know it's cedar, but uh, what type am I looking for? So I can just choose um, something that I think is, is similar. Hmm, it might be a, a log here, but what other options do I have? There are two grayed out areas that I don't think of search that I don't believe many people know how to use, and that's called the similar and related search. So in order to use those, as you can see, I can't click on them right now. So in order to use them, you have to have a line item selected first. So as you can see, I've got my log cedar sighting here and I can click for detail and take a look and say, hmm, that doesn't quite look what I was, the, the look I was looking for. It kind of has a bowed out and yeah, the log probably isn't, isn't really what I'm, I'm uh, is gonna fit the bill. I can go to similar here and it'll pull up different types of log sighting. So maybe it's a pine that I'm looking for or a different dimension. Um, I can also go back to sighting and maybe try cedar again and choose a different one. Maybe it's a shiplap that I'm looking for and click for detail. Okay, so that's how I branch out and find new light items that I don't know what they're called. I don't really know what I'm looking for sometimes. I didn't know about shiplap that it was called shiplap before I watched Fixer Upper, to be honest. So some of these terms and things, I just don't know. I try to Google as much as I can, but then translating you know, what I've learned in, from Google over here to Xactimate can be a little bit frustrating. So just some options on how to find new line items and how to search, the similar and related can get really useful. So similar, they also have a redwood type shiplap or a pine that I could add. Uh, maybe it's not cedar, but it's uh, pine that I find. So this is nice because I can see my other options for this sighting. Now I'm gonna delete that off. We're just gonna use this first one. You also have related items. Related is how I learned all of the accoutrement, if you will, the accessories of what needs to be done whenever I'm working with a new labor or material. Or for example, when I was building my macro, my list of light items for laminate, I hit related and learned some new things that I could add, like a two-story gable cornice return, um, those types of things. So related is where you can really explore what Xactimate has determined, Xactware has determined is needed to finish this job. So they have, um, just, just as a, a suggestion, you can look through these and see. So we've got our pressure chemical spray, we've got clean siding, maybe it needs to be actually hand cleaned and not pressure washed. 
Um, there's many reasons for that. It also gives you a typical insulation that would be used with this type of siding. There's your paint that they would like you to use for this type of log look and um, also other insulation options and fascia and gutters. So it actually gives you, you know, kind of like a package almost that you can look through these line items and discover new things that you didn't know that, that could be added. So that's really how I get around in Xactimate when I don't know, first of all, what I'm looking for. I, I usually go Google it and try to, you know, find a picture that's similar to what I'm seeing out in the field. And then you'll come, I come in here and um, try to use the same nomenclature. So log, cedar, or shiplap, or what have you for siting. Um, what was really interesting was getting to know some of the commercial line items, like EPDM isn't in Xactimate. It's called uh, rubber roofing. So you have to learn those types of things whenever you're getting into uh, new materials. Just see what it's called. I went and Googled EPDM and then rubber came up. So I searched that and then now I can find, okay, I've got three different types of systems here. Go Google that and figure out what do we got. So that's really um, how I branch out and find new line items and have different ways of searching that I don't think many people take advantage of. This is also how I build my macros by just hitting related there. And I can see everything that Xactware has related to the EPDM or rubber roof type of system. So I hope you'll branch out and try to use that similar and related search while you're building estimates so you can learn new things or find new line items that you need. My name is Alina Wilson with Xmate Mastery. For more information on the Xactimate training that I offer, go to xmatemastery.com. Hope you guys have a great week in your business and I'll see you next week.